Live your life like you're the hero in your movie. My hero. That's who I chase. We're all writing a book. What's your book look like? Your life is a book. You got a bunch of chapters in your book, but when they close that book, how good was the book? How good was your book? What was the ending to your book? Look at a chessboard. Here's what I want you to do. He said, in your mind, when you look at a position, put your pieces wherever you want them. Pick them up and in your mind and put them where you want them. Where do you wish they were? Life is certainly some sort of a journey. There's games that we play and there's beginnings and endings to each chapter or phase that we participate in. There's the school phase, the dating phase, the learning a new skill phase, starting a career, starting a family, going through some sort of a downfall, but back to living your life as if it's some sort of a movie. I just think it's an interesting way to view it. And you can look at it as a video game or a book or an expedition trip like an adventure. But I think if you look at your life in this way, it just becomes a very fun time to be alive. And that's just the truth, even in unrest times when you feel bent out of shape and nothing is going right. You can find meaning in your suffering. I truly believe that. And when you develop the ability to find meaning in challenging times, it just puts a lot of pressure off of you. Like, oh, I'm going to die anyways. It doesn't matter if I embarrass myself in front of people or something bad happens. This is all going to zero once I'm gone. We learn, we move, we go on. So we're each living a movie in our lives. Now, if you start treating your life as you're walking around like it's a movie, you start treating a positive view towards everything. Because you're like, well, I'm standing here in a club and I see an attractive person nearby me. And it seems like now is a perfect opportunity to go up and talk to that person. This is interesting. This is getting somewhere. Is this the moment the main character of the movie falls in love? Or is this the moment the protagonist misses his shot and after this encounter goes back to his average life? What decision is going to be made? Oh, I like the movies where the main character makes nerve-wracking choices. It's much more fun. So why don't I just do that? I can actually make that choice. I don't know if that was a great example, but it sort of helps you move your life along in a positive way because it's your movie and you want it to turn out well. And also when you get pissed off, you're like, oh yeah, that's the villain, awesome. The villain has entered the scene and now they're sort of fighting and getting into a spicy argument. Wow. Is this where the main character wins or lose? Am I going to learn something? Am I going to lose for now and get the ultimate victory at the end? And another way to think about it is it'll make you make better judgments, right? More ethical, moral, and legal decision makings. So is the hero of the movie going to self-depreciate his morale? Well, if you're the hero of your movie, you're going to want to do the right thing and display this incredible way of portraying your character. If this is a movie, it's going to be watched by hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of people. And you don't want the crowd to think this is a sucky movie, so you make it fun and positive and worthwhile to watch. Sure, there might be some crying scenes, there might be heartbreak, but what makes a blockbuster movie? Normally it starts in the dirt, things aren't looking too pretty, and then there's a success story. Wow, what an incredible movie. It all comes down to the inner game, my friends. Changing your life is changing your inner game. Prioritize who you are, who you want to be, and don't spend time and energy doing anything that antagonizes your character. Peace and love.